Hi, my name is Danny Woodall. I'm the creative director here at Sixth Sense, and today we're taking a look at the Sixth Sense STEM system. Cool. So, uh, you know, one of the things I believe very strongly is that human interfaces needs to be innovated, or there needs to be a breakthrough in it to really capture VR properly. What makes your uh, solution uh, especially special today? So uh, we have a few things that are going for us. Number one, uh, we have extremely low latency, and we have uh, probably the, the bigger, most important thing is we have one-to-one -one tracking. So it's absolute tracking relative to the base station. So uh, and because we have a tracker in your head, we know where your hands are relative to your head. And so in the virtual space, your your virtual hand will line up where your physical hand is, which is really important, especially when you want to interact with something. You go to reach out to grab a cup and you try to grab where you think it is, but it's you know a couple of, you know inches off to the left. Now you're thinking in an input system, like how do I get my hand to go where it's supposed to go? But when it really works, you just reach out naturally and grab it. So. Yeah, that was my one of the best parts of that demo is that I could easily grab and, and place it back, and I think that's a challenge that when you're using a keyboard and a mouse, you don't know where it's located relative to you in VR. Yeah, I mean, I think that's true. We've all been kind of fumbling around for our kind of traditional input devices inside of VR. And uh, in fact, one of the cool things that we've added to the demo here is you can actually see our controllers in the virtual world. So when you, you know, you can start with just put the headset on and then you look down, you see the controllers and you can just walk naturally up to them and pick them up as if they were there. And then when you're done, you can do the same thing. So you don't have to fight controllers and rift and, you know, it's, it's becomes more of a natural in and out. And uh, so when are we going to see this uh, go to market and uh, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> so we're still kind of, you know, determining the price. I think it's about, I think what we have right now is uh, about $299 for a, a two tracker system. And uh, we're, we're targeted to uh, ship in October. Um, I think we're going to release an updated schedule here in the next couple weeks um, to really reflect where we currently are with uh, the actual manufacturing of the product. So. And, uh, and is there a software development kit for it? Yeah, actually, it's, you know, what's pretty interesting about this demo here is it was uh, it started as a test purely by myself. Um, we're kind of running this Sixth Sense VR SDK. So we have a standard kind of core API that everybody can build off of. And then we have this new Sixth Sense VR SDK, which provides what we call full body presence, where you look down and you see your body and you have limbs. And uh, so that kind of comes out of the box. Um, it's, it's like all the work everyone's going to want to create themselves. You get them a rip, you get them some hands, and then they got to wire it all up. And so, you know, we acknowledge that and we wanted to create a really great base line. So this demo was like, let's see where we are with that, you know, and it took about three days of my time and one other artist and we had an awesome prototype that we're, we went to a show and I think we spent another day on it after seeing, you know, hundreds of people go through it and making some final tuning stuff. But it sort of went, you know, it shows us where we are in the software and hardware development. It's, it's basically really close to handing it off to developers to really create their dreams and their aspirations. And uh, will this demo be made available when you guys do go to market? Because I would love to just continue to sm smack stuff with lightsabers. <laughs> So uh, everything we show, we plan to provide, um, you know, in the SDK, so uh, that any any of the developers that have seen our work, have tried our work, can use, see them in, it, it, and use them as a reference to do whatever it is that they want to do. So yes. And yeah. uh, you know, because I think the key to make, being a hardware company, and you are kind of a hardware and a software company, is that you need third-party support. So how are you guys going to, uh, as you go to market, reach out to third parties to make sure that you guys are the hand solution for VR. So that's actually pretty interesting. Right now, they're, they've been reaching out to us because we are the hand solution. There isn't really anybody else who can kind of, you know, get the fidelity that you need inside of VR right now. So we're the closest thing there is, and so everybody's coming to us. Everybody's asking us when their stim is going to arrive. When can they get the beta for the SDK? So, um, you know, once we get the product out there, I think it's starting to really speak for itself. And so, um, you know, that's that's pretty powerful alone. So we are also targeting, you know, some of the major uh, game engines as well. So we're, you know, adding native support for everything that we've seen here inside of uh, Unreal Engine 4 and also in Unity as well. Well, uh, do you have anything else you want to say? To, you know, we're a, we're a PC gaming site uh, at our core, Shack News. Uh, there's 
a lot of devs out there, a lot of people who want to be in your position or you know want to work with you. Uh, do you have any advice for anyone that's really trying to get into the VR uh, gold rush? Sure. You know, I think the biggest advice I can give is that if you truly are passionate, uh, you're going to do well because it's really where that that, that it's going to thrive in this type of environment. I mean, everybody around that we're, you see in this room and in this show, like, it's like a community. It's almost like a cult. Like everywhere I go to one of these shows, I'm seeing people I recognize, and they're seeing us, and they recognize us, and we're communicating, we're talking about our experiences and what we've learned. So if you're that type of guy, you're going to just fit right in here and just flourish with this type of environment.